Hey guys, Crazy here, welcome back to Borderlands 3 again, and today let's take a look at some of the awesome weapons that you're going to be able to find in the brand new Bounty of Blood DLC that's going to release later today. Also a huge shout out to 2K for providing me early access to the brand new DLC as this helped me prepare a ton of footage for you guys in advance. But in this video we're going to cover about 10 of the brand new weapons that are in DLC number 3. Obviously there's going to be way more on top of that, but these were the ones that I managed to find and play around with and test. Many of them look really awesome, some of them have really unique functionalities, while others are really damn powerful. So hopefully you're going to enjoy this video, as always if you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this video and let's jump right into it. Let's begin with one of the first guns that I immediately went in and farmed for as soon as I reached level 60. And yes, the max level cap has been increased again by 3 levels, up from 57, and it is now maximum of 60, which should give you about 3 more new skill points to invest into those skill trees. But otherwise, this is the Uncamped Herald, yes, it is making a return from the previous Borderlands 2. It's still awesome by the way, it's a Torg pistol that shoots 7 bullets that explode upon impact, and the further they travel from the gun, the more they spread on an horizontal pattern. Which means that this is a perfect type of weapon for close to medium range, so that you can uh, aim all of those shots into the enemy's body for the maximum amount of damage. But as you can see, the base damage on it is really high for a pistol, it also has some really nice magazine size on it, but most important of all, I got this one right here, Mayhem level 10, with basically the perfect god roll on it. I was also lucky to get one with the cryo efficiency on it, which is perfect for my sentinel build, but otherwise this can spawn with at least one other elemental, which is fire, and I'm pretty sure it can spawn with other elementals as well, including with just normal damage too. So definitely an awesome weapon to have, and I will cover it in a later video when I'm also going to show you where you can find this. Now the next one is another pistol, it's called the Gargoyle, it's one of the weapons that I liked visually. We don't really have that many pistols with the alien skin on them, so this was the one that I immediately wanted to cover. And it definitely makes sense because it's a really awesome weapon to have. So it's a Children's of the Vault weapon, which means that um, it uses shots up until it breaks, but uh, it is quite powerful. It only spawns with one elemental, which which is corrosive and its functionality is quite interesting. So basically, um, every time you shoot, every few shots, it also spawns these uh, like uh, big blobs of corrosive damage that um, travel a little bit of distance until they fall off, which makes it great against anything that has armor on it. I've tested this against the jackpot, against those loader bots, it deals a ton of damage, it's a really awesome weapon to have, it's just that it has a really high fire rate, which means that you're going to quickly deplete all of your shots and you will need to like replenish all of your ammo but again this was an unoptimized weapon on mayhem 10 and it was on an unoptimized build for this type of weapon but otherwise really awesome one to have really cool looking and um, one of the best pistols that I was able to test in the brand new DLC there's other awesome weapons in the game that look really stunning from a visual point of view and by far my favorite has to be the NARP sniper rifle one of the sniper rifles that I'm gonna cover actually in this video there's going to be a second one that I also enjoyed in terms of functionality but this one looks really awesome almost like a freaking sports car to say the least it's definitely one of the most unique weapons I've got my hands on in the new DLC but it's also quite useful in terms of the way it works so it basically comes with some really nice high damage on it it also came with a nice magazine size of about 10 bullets by default but of course its biggest like plus is the fact that it has really nice accuracy and handling at least on my Z build it didn't even move the radical when I was shooting with it. Its unique functionality is the fact that when you reload with it the remaining rounds grant bonuses to the next magazine. So basically when you reload with it it gives you additional damage to your next bullet into the next magazine. I've played around with this mechanic to see exactly how it works so the more you deplete it and the less bullets there are in your magazine once you reload it you aren't going to get that much of a bonus to the next magazine but otherwise if you have enough bullets left like at least half of the rounds in it you're going to get about the maximum bonus so after doing some testing with this on the target dummy I think that the best way to use this is to basically use half of your magazine size and then reload to get about close to the maximum damage that you can get for the next magazine size and then continue from there on and continue doing it this way if you want to like get the full damage but otherwise the damage 
on it is really nice, mine came with the fire effect on it, um, but I'm pretty sure that it can spawn with other elementals as well. Now the second one that I want to cover also in the sniper rifle category is the melee one, Root. The Root is another sniper rifle that also looks quite interesting, but its functionality is what makes it even more awesome. So it has a really high base damage and the way it works is that you shoot this beam and it kinda leaves a trail of sparks that also bounce around and deal more damage. So basically the way you want to use this is like medium range so to speak, so that all of those bounces surround the target and you make sure that all of the damage goes into that target or the target if they tend to be in a group. But otherwise if you stand from afar you're going to lose quite a bit of damage from my testing because those trails um, leave off a lot of sparks that are going to damage on that trail so um, it depends your positioning and enemy positioning um, you can use that as a trail to like get a lot of enemies in a line but um, my personal preference was to just like aim it up close and get all of the sparks into the enemies outside of this since it's a melee one it does take a little bit of time to charge and of course it also comes with different types of elementals that you can switch between in my case I think that I had one with cryo and corrosive but there's other ones in there as well that you can get let's move over to the shotgun category and I have one right here that I really enjoyed again it's called the spade shotgun it's a torque that also leaves several sticky bombs with each shot into the enemy and you probably already know what that means when you reload they explode and it basically messes up the enemies now this has some really high damage even though on the card itself we don't really see that it has a potential to be a complete boss melter with the proper build assuming that you're building it with splash damage um, it can spawn with several types of elementals the ones that I got were with fire but I also got one with cryo it also seems to vary in magazine size by quite a significant margin so one of them had almost double the amount of magazine size compared to the previous one that I've used so I, I think it's a matter of luck how you get it um, outside of this the red text reads Lucille God gave me a gift which I'm pretty sure is a reference to a movie called mystery man I'm pretty sure that is that but it could be maybe even the walking dead since uh, it mentions Lucille that was like my immediate thoughts as soon as I saw the red text this brings us to the assault rifle category and we have one right here called the dowsing rod and it's actually a Vlad off AR and grenade launcher combination which means that you can both use it as an assault rifle and then switch to the grenade launcher which actually deals even more damage so the assault rifle mode shoots like a minigun that spins faster the more you shoot thus increasing your fire rate but the alternate mode uses a grenade launcher that shoots about three projectiles for some really high damage of course it's going to be based on the elemental the weapon spawns with mine came with radiation but I'm pretty sure it can spawn with any other type of elemental as well and it's a pretty nice weapon to look at also visually stunning but most important that grenade launcher on it definitely makes an impact of course we also have a bunch of SMGs in the game the one that I've tested for this video was the flipper SMG which is another melee one weapon um, it basically has a fast charge up but it shoots several bullets in a shotgun spread kind of pattern that deal quite high damage against the enemies at the very least the one that I got right here which comes with cryo efficiency deals quite a bit of damage to all of these enemies because mainly of my build but the weapon does seem quite interesting it does seem to have a nice fire rate on it it also has a nice magazine size I did manage to like get a ton of enemies really fast not really sure how it like holds if you go in against the bosses but I really enjoyed it the way I played with it the red text mentions put one foot in front of the other which I'm pretty sure is a reference to the children's song with the same name but I might be mistaken on that one finally we have one more category left which is that of the heavy weapons in this case I want to cover two of the new rocket launchers that have been added in the game one of them is called the plumage it looks like this it basically is one of those atlas weapons that you use a tracking beacon onto the enemies and then shoot the rockets and they will automatically track the enemies it works pretty similar to every other type of weapon like this but in this case the damage on it is quite high it shoots about eight projectiles give or take but uh, it does seem to deal quite a bit of damage at least on the bosses that I've tested as well as the enemies it does deal quite a nice job on the way it works the only problem 
with it and everything else that uses automatic tracking is the fact that it doesn't aim for weak spots but otherwise in the middle of the enemy so if it's something like a big boss you're going to see that the rockets will aim towards the middle section of the body the final one is of course the rocket launcher called satisfaction which looks like this another torque weapon that sticks explosive rounds into the enemy but this time around the explosive rounds are really really damaging i'm pretty sure that this on a mose splash build with a, like infinite ammo has the capacity to one shot pretty much any boss in the game even on mayhem 10 i haven't tested this yet because i wasn't able to level up to 60 with my mose yet but uh, it looks like something that just wrecks everything in sight even on a build that isn't specifically fine-tuned for a weapon like this but otherwise these have been just 10 of the brand new weapons that you can expect from the brand new dlc of course there's way more in there some of them are rewards from quests others are drops from certain enemies while others are of course world drops but this is it for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to comment like and subscribe thank you so much for watching and peace